Keila's like, let's get on with the walk. <laughs> oh man. So, I was thinking, based on uh, what I saw on Divinity's channel, a uh, link in the info box, of course. Hey, Keila, we're gonna go this way. Look at that enthusiasm. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, work and menial jobs, jobs that are beneath you. <laughs> Divinity was uh, working at her, uh, at her job and one of the toilets overflowed or was leaking or basically a mop was needed in the toilet and uh, she went and took care of it and one of her co-workers was saying, hey, that's, that's beneath you, someone else should be doing that, you know, you're, you're better than that. Um, oh, hey, look at this one. He's so pretty. So, you know, I often refer to snails as pretty, but they sure are. Um, I'm familiar with that whole scenario of, uh, hey, that job's beneath you. Um, all my life and uh, menial jobs here's where careers get you as far as I uh, could observe um, and I've dabbled in it a little bit uh, careers are an awful lot like prison <laughs> uh, a menial job a low-wage job a job that requires you know a strong arm uh, or a strong back more often than not uh, is a job that you could come and go from um, it, uh, it allows you a certain amount of freedom. Uh, that's why I like them. That's why I've always kind of chosen jobs, uh, especially jobs that were especially miserable. Because <laughs> I always knew that I could get them right off the bat. And if you leave, and as long as you're cool while you work there, you could come back to it. Um, people have often remarked, Hey Earl, you know, I, re I really don't see you doing this job very long. I mean, it's... You know, it's not—it's kind of, you know, beneath you. You're—you were meant for more than this. Which is, gosh, that's—that's that's kind of a nice thing to say, really. I could imagine that being annoying, uh, or uh, maybe even angering you, to talk about uh, labor being beneath you or mopping up a toilet being beneath you. Um, but uh, I try to take that as—it's—I uh, hold you in high regard, is what I hear. Uh, not necessarily in that uh, the people that do this job are uh, are kind of like are lowly, perhaps. But uh, it is interesting, though. Um, I've had people uh, treat me quite poorly, actually, just entirely based upon my job, and uh, a little shocked that I would object. <laughs> and you know, somebody that's super successful uh, in their business doesn't necessarily make them a great person. As one of the guys that was shouting at me not too long ago was saying that he was better than I am while he was cussing me out. And I'm like, well, sir, one of us is screaming at the other uh, using foul language and generally creating a disturbance. And the other is patient and professional and uh, has been pretty kind to you this entire time. So if it comes down to saying who's better, I would say it's the person who keeps their cool in a tense situation. <laughs> oh god that guy got hot <laughs> uh, and then uh, the other thing about uh, when that took place there was a certain amount of cultural pressure there was a lot of people about and so the angrier he got uh, the more people were like hey man why don't you just let that guy do his job and you just kind of move on which he did so uh, yeah interesting thing Interesting thing being thought of uh, and uh, based upon uh, what kind of work that you're doing rather than uh, the quality of your character, the content of your soul. So, anyway, Divinity, uh, well done, good topic, and uh, appreciated the boob quake. I recommend everyone go look at it. <laughs> I hope it didn't cause too many uh, uh, disturbances. I'm sure they were small and localized. No, I didn't mean small. I meant normal sized and localized. <laughs> All right. Uh, everybody, divinity, peace out.